going on guys it's your boy Justin from the J Media and I'm back another video so today I'll be doing some install mods on my car so on here I have some stuff I got from Tire Rack um, I have some Hawk Performance brake pads and some ATC brake fluid as well as some motor oil here Castro Edge as well as STP oil filter so what we'll be doing like say I'll be changing out the uh, pads for both fronts and rears the hot performance pads brake fluids new motor oil um, I'll be having a track day coming up really soon so I've been on the track in this car once been on the track on my EK a couple times um, but this will be an actual full track day doing hot laps so I really want to prep the car so I'm gonna head to my buddy Miguel's dealership right now get working on the car all right so I just got here to the dealership showed Miguel the new front bumper and wing he hasn't seen it yet but he's seen photos and he's like looks pretty dope so let me show you guys again up close what i have so again for motor oil um it's recommended i use 0w20 i got the five quarts um castro edge since mine's the gt i have a 2.4 liter engine it requires 4.5 quarts um so this one had five quarts perfect a little bit extra and then i also bought another bottle uh one quart just so on the track if for any reason I you know I'm leaking oil whatever I can top it up and then I also got an oil filter so this is specific to my car um, got a STP oil filter and like I said in here we got some pads from uh, tire rack so shipping took a couple days but I do have Hawk Performance um, HPS pads for the fronts and Hawk Performance uh, 5.0 pads for the rears as well as ATC 200 brake fluids. All right, so again, these are the Hawk pads. So HPS pads for up fronts and Hawk Performance Street 5.0 pads for rears. And then I went with the ATE Type 200 brake fluid. So first wheels off, I'm gonna get to taking off the stock pads and slapping on these Hawk pads on the fronts. So currently I have a joint slotted rotor, so those are gonna stay and just replacing the pads. So the stock pad still had a bit of life left, but uh, went to something a little more aggressive. So we should buy a little more, but uh, it's gonna have a little bit of squeaky noise. So Hawk provided some lube, so away from my always got to lube it up. So previously the bolts weren't lubed up, so it's kind of hard to get off. So front passenger brake pads are in as you can tell you can see the new pads here right now the other wheels off and we're gonna slap on the other front pad there for more support <laughs> old pads new pads First pad in, Miguel put a little like loop thing on both edges, and now the rear one goes in. Slap the caliper back on. All right, so both front pads are done. Right now, Miguel's working on the rear. Alright, so the stock pads are off, the new pads are on on the rear, and right now, just one more side for the pads, taking off this wheel. One pad in. Right now I just need one more pad right here and all four will be pretty good to go. Alright so all four fingers have been done, brake pads are all done and right now Miguel lifted the car up higher, uh, gonna do the oil change so flush out the old oil and then put in some new Castro Edge and new oil filter. The oil is pretty much done, draining, oil filter is coming off.
new one from STP. Give me the big one. So we got a discount for getting a Castro Edge oil with the STP. So I got both. And I'm using OW20. So I think Miguel's gonna lube up just the oil filter right now. Righty tidy. <laughs> so oil filters in. Just a little bit more to drain here. Um, and then pretty much putting the new Castro oil from the top. Taking off the oil cap. So we we're just talking about different brands. Um, some people love certain brands. For me, I'm not too brand specific. So since they had a special, like I said, for Castro Edge, uh, full synthetic, as well as STP uh, oil filter, I decided to go with it. Miguel said, I think um, Events Auto had like a mobile one promotion going on. So always check for promotions. All right, so all things is done as well. Um, Fortunately, we don't have any time to put the new brake fluid in, so that'll be done another time. But brake pads, fronts, rears, as well as oil change are done. So right now, just pretty much slapping the wheels back on, on the ground, and we're good to go. Alright, so car spec on the ground. Right now, Miguel's just torquing the wheels. So the torque spec for my car is 80 foot pounds of torque. Alright, so oil change as well as brake pads are all done. So, looking pretty good, pretty excited. Like I said, track day in a couple days. So if you guys want to see that video, make sure to subscribe. Stay tuned to the channel. Leave a thumbs up and I'll catch you guys in the next one.